today uh, from Berlin, uh, we will have a 10 talk focused on design. Uh, at the heart of it, German design, but also a perspective uh, of German design in the world. We also want to explore what design means. Is it a product? Is it design for an enterprise, for a company, uh, and so forth? So I'm very delighted to introduce uh, Professor Klemp. Professor Klemp is the deputy director of the Museum of Applied uh, Arts in Frankfurt. Uh, he is also uh, a board member of uh, the Dieter and um, Ingeborg Rams uh, Foundation. And uh, here you are already close with Dieter Rams, uh, close to Ulmer Schule, close to Bauhaus. How would you see uh, the role of design uh, out of a perspective of a company that wants to go to a competitive place? I think we have to think design completely new. Uh, what we had the last 20, 25 years was more and more, I speak about product design, uh, more and more design using as a marketing factor. Uh, but not more, not to make a better product, but to make the product with a maybe new uh, package design. And against this, we want to uh, show that design is more. Design is to think about our world, to think about our products, to think about the products we can use and we will use tomorrow. And we will have uh, many more uh, consumers in the future. Yeah. Think of the BRIC states, yeah. three billion people from Brazil, uh, Russia, China, etc., uh, coming uh, in these markets. And they all want to have an a smartphone or a coffee machine or maybe a car or maybe a bicycle or whatever. <clears throat> so, and I think we cannot work like we worked in the last 30 years, as I say, more and more products. We have to think about to reduce the products but to make it better. This is one of the central sentences of Dieter Rams when he says, less but better. How do, how do companies, successful companies today, tackle that issue? I mean, as you say, it's not just a package of a product or the product within the package. It is uh, the, 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 the philosophy, it is the vision of a company, and design obviously has to be a part of it. The vision of Dieter Rams is old, of course. He developed it in the 60s. And <clears throat> it is elder. Uh, you also had in the 20s all these ideas about how products should look like. It starts in the 19th century uh, when Gottfried Zemper uh, was thinking about what is the design of the future. And this was when the first uh, World um, um, Expo has been in London in 1951. And all countries have been invited to show their products. Mm. And the people were surprised as they said, no, this cannot be the real product. It looks like made by a craftsman, but is made by the machine. Mm. And it is not a really true uh, design. It's, it's a design which is... What product are you referring to? Uh, you can see every... Uh, take a chair. Yeah. If you have a chair uh, made by a um, carpenter, okay. so he made it in his traditional way. And now you had a, a chair industry. They produce these chairs uh, it seems it looked like uh, made by a carpenter. <clears throat> and they knew materials, not real materials, not real wood, but they knew it, uh, some other things yeah, or yeah. so. And one of the first real good design in the 19th century was the tonnet chair. Yeah. Because the tonnet chair... For the um, coffee houses in Vienna? Yeah, yeah the tonnet yeah. chair had no historical uh, relation. It was just function. Yeah. It was just made functional, very cheap, very simple, very easy, and it was one of the most important. But charming too. Yeah. Till yeah. today, yeah, it's yeah. it's an absolutely 150 yeah. years old product yeah. you can use today. And the tonnet chair was the beginning of this new 
thinking about how, how must a product produced by a machine look like. Bauhaus was in this con continuity of uh, Werkbund. Uh, and then after the war with Ulm uh, Hochschule working right. in this. Yeah. And of course Brown was in yeah. this field engaged and said let us make real good products uh, with the simplicity and with a, a good uh, usability. And uh, when we see today this classical brown products, we say, wow, it looks so modern. Why did, did brown disappear in a way? Yeah? I mean, with, with entertainment electronics and yeah. I mean, uh, all these beautiful products, why, why are they gone? So brown was a project of the two brothers, the two brown brothers, Arthur and uh, Erwin Brown in the mid of the uh, 50s. And they had, did one thing very well. They said, okay, design is not only package. Design is the central idea of our company. And we will push the designers. And we will help them to work with the technicians, with the engineers. Because normally in a company, the designers are in the, in the very rear. When all these people work on the same level, they work together, the technicians, the, the CEOs of the company, very, very important. Uh, the designers uh, and the marketing so people. It's interdisciplinary yeah. approach. Yeah. yeah, and they have the same uh, attitude yeah. uh, about the product. Then it can work. Yeah. And I think the, uh, the very important event was Apple. Apple was a renaissance of this thinking uh, in the mid of the 2000s. Yes. Uh, Johnny Ive. Uh, who was very impressed by the design of Dieter Rams when he was a kid, what he was he is always mm -hmm. telling when he grew up in London mm -hmm. and uh, were looking for the hi-fi from Brown at home. And uh, so this, this uh, was very important for many companies to say, hey, Apple is so successful with such simple design, just four products they're doing. What's that? Mm -hmm. And even in, in, in brown companies, the new CEO said, hey, when, they, when we invited it, why don't we do it today? This company was sold to Gillette in the year 1967. And Gillette was, but in the first years they said, it's okay, go your way. Uh, Postmodern thinking in the 80s, in the 90s, uh, brought Gillette more and more that they said, hmm, your shavers look so old styled. We want also to have shavers with uh, rally stripes or whatever. Do it with colors or do it like all others did. And this was a mistake. The marketing taste of Gillette yeah, sort of killed Brown. There's a more minder. Uh, Brown kills himself uh, b because he said, we have to make streamline. Product. And that surprisingly, I mean, you have mainstream products coming yeah. out of Apple of and, and people love it. After this Apple yeah. uh, success, a new CEO said, hey, let us go back yeah. uh, to the roots. And they engaged a new head uh, chief designer, Oliver Grabes, a young man, very good designer. And we will see if he can bring back uh, Brown to uh, that what they did before. Would you agree that? If a company sees what can be done through design with their products, then the whole organism of that company has to adapt it and has to live it. Absolutely. Right? And I think this is very important to bring this culture into a company, a culture that means we have to make a better product yeah. and not we have to make a better profit. When you see what happened to Audi, you know, over the last 25 years or so. In a way, it starts, started with committing to a new line, like Vorsprung durch Technik. And suddenly, the organism began to live it. Isn't that an example for companies to use design to, uh, uh, you know, compete in the future via Great products. Of course, and especially it's interesting that this slogan was made for a very well-known design car, the Row 80 from NSU. It was oh, okay. before uh, yeah. Audi, yeah. and they made this slogan, Vorsprung durch okay. Technik, okay. for a new design. Interesting. I didn't know that. And, and they, they use it till today. And it's interesting that uh, one of the most important designers of Audi, Peter Schreier, uh, was engaged six years ago by Kia. And end of last year, he became president of Kia. So he's the first designer as a president of a big motor company in Korea. And he is now also the chief designer of Hyundai. Yeah. So very interesting, uh, because I see that, especially the Koreans uh, see that this German design attitude 
uh, has a big potent for the, for the future. Where, where are the interesting uh, pockets in the world that mm. now mm. practice uh, uh, this, this kind of learning? So for me at Apple, the most important thing is not the design, it's not the clear design. Uh, the most important thing is the, the thinking of, of Stephen Jobs when he said we have to uh, make our own competence. Uh, we don't uh, need uh, persons from outside always. Uh, they, uh, they, they make our job. We have to make our job by ourselves. And we have to think about the better product. So mid of the 2000 years, if there, uh, anyone would be asked make a new mobile phone, they would say never do this because the mobile phone market is complete. There are so many different models of mobile phones. And Apple said no, we will do it. And they made a completely other one, as all others have been, and had giant success. Why? Because it was so complex, it was so simple to use, and it looked quite good, so you didn't have to throw it away after yeah. a year. If uh, Apple would think a little bit more in this way, why shouldn't they produce a computer uh, which not should be thrown away after two years, where you just have to change maybe the heart of the computer, a little part for $200, $300, yeah. and not the whole computer yeah. for $2,000. Yeah, okay, idea. this is, uh, uh, every uh, salesman will say you are crazy, no. it's, it's better to sell a whole computer. But I think this will change when we have these new situations with uh, new consumers. Yeah, and it yeah. marks, makes much yeah. more sense to have a coffee yeah. machine yeah. using for five, six, maybe ten years, mm -hmm. uh, as to throw it away after one year because you say, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. And this is a problem that the people, yeah. not because of technical questions, yeah. they say, well, I don't like it and let us, let us consume yeah. a new one. Yeah. So and there must be a change. And there, for me, the design is an absolute central uh, point. So we have to think design completely new. We have to yeah. look back to the history yeah. of our design, of functionalism discussions we have for 150 years. I think we can learn a lot from Zemper over the Bauhaus, what we are interested in our museum to say, let us, let us bring this history to the people uh, to open them the eyes for the future. When we dig a little bit, I mean, into the, the book of Isaacson yeah, that uh, he wrote uh, uh, about Stephen Jobs, design is a CEO's job. Absolutely. Yeah? But how did it come together? I mean, it's the, the various cultures he was involved in, from the hippie culture, yeah, via uh, the typography culture, yeah. via the Zen culture, then probably via Hartmut Esslinger, that is uh, the founder of Frog Design, who designed the first Apple products, yeah, uh, the, the, the Max, probably via him German design there was, in my opinion, already a kind of Dieter Rams connection. Yeah, at, of course at, it was. At, at that time. Very much a product culture, the entertainment culture via Pixar and so mm -hmm. And that sort of came together in this one person. And it is all a culture that you have to develop as a CEO uh, in order to influence the creativity of your company. And that is, I would call, the master design. You are absolutely right. Uh, what you say about Apple, this hippie culture of, uh, um, of Stephen Jobs is, is absolutely right. And I can also give you another example for, for Brown. Uh, when they started their project mid of the 50s, they all were big fans of cool jazz. Uh, cool jazz in this time were, had a tradition in Germany, especially yeah, yeah. in Frankfurt, yeah. but was coming from America. So the yeah, American yeah. GIs, they brought all this, this cool jazz uh, yeah. giants to, yeah, to Frankfurt. Yeah. And Dieter often told me, so we were sitting in the evening in the jazz club, all together, the architects, the designers, the literature, the artists, but also other lawyers or whatever. And we were sitting in this, hearing this wonderful new yeah. music and said, wow, this is the future. This is like we want to make a radio or to make a shaver, this cool design. Yeah. Yeah. Creative CEO, you know, has to be the, the facilitator of various cultures Absolutely. in order yeah. to have yeah. some global effect. Yeah.
That is means that? that he has knowledge yeah. about yeah. this. Exactly. He might not only knowledge about finance yeah. and other yeah. things or marketing yeah. or whatever, he also has to have knowledge about culture. What is it, culture? And appetite. Yeah? Of course. Appetite to yeah. bring those yeah. cultures together yeah. and play, yeah. play with, ponder it, you yeah. know? Yeah. Ponder with it. And that is where the, the new ideas are coming from. We are really looking forward uh, to having you here for a master class tonight. Yeah? Your uh, museum is online also. So please have a look at the Museum of Applied Arts. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank being here. Thank you very much for your invitation. Thank you.